much, much more, and I think we just might have breached the base. I think we just, uh, you know, we just breached. Nothing new, boys. Something simple. And the thing is, this is not the first time they've been raided. I actually think this is the worst faction on the entire server, I'm not gonna lie. Well, guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today, back with another factions episode, guys, and right now, you know, we're just chilling at a cannon at the moment, literally raiding a F-top faction. Listen, how they are an F-top faction, I don't even know, as you guys could probably tell by the title of this video. I don't know if I'm supposed to be showing off this cannon. Wait, hold up. But, all right, I'm going to explain the title, okay? But right now, we are actually raiding a uh, way rest, and if we do slash F-top, oh, <laughs> you know, we're already almost in, but... They are literally F-top number six, all right, and they had much, much more, and I think we just might have breached the base. I think we just, uh, you know, we just breached. Nothing new, boys. Something simple. But uh, here we go. If we F who way rest, all right, and if we scroll up, these guys literally have four people online. It was actually an offline raid. All of these four people, a co-leader. Two co-leaders are on. And nobody checked their walls. And the thing is, this is not the first time they've been raided. I actually think this is the worst faction on the entire server, I'm not gonna lie. And the funny thing is, some people were telling me to join the, these guys, like, what? They obviously wanted me to lose the series, bro. It was, it was sabotage, there's no way. Yeah, you know, we just breached somebody, nothing new, dude. These guys have been breached. Alright, so let me explain what has actually happened on the server. We have raided these guys, I think this is our second time, but I think, I think they've been split three or four times already this just this map all right keep in mind i think we're two days into tnt at the time i'm recording this and you've been split four times while we're doing this we might as well just start kegging going to the e chest real quick we have some throwables and we might as well just start kegging away i don't really know how these things work to be honest like do you just chuck them let me try this real quick boom and, oh what oh my keg just got freaking sent dude you know what all right we're just gonna let the faction do them because i obviously have no clue how to use these things so we'll save it for a uh more important raid. Yeah, you know what? Somebody said in chat, just go catch spawners. Probably what I'm going to do, honestly. These guys actually got split three or four times. And, you know, at that point, your map is pretty much over. But what actually ended up happening was Triad did slash FDI. Now, guys, keep in mind, this is the same exact thing that got Spook disbanded in the last map of factions, if you guys watched it. And Triad fell for the same thing, but Triad ended up getting rolled back. And you know, I'm not even going to get into that stuff. And some people have different opinions, but I'm just not going to touch on it. So, um, they disbanded their faction with using, uh, slash FDI. And they actually ended up rolling back the entire server for it. So... Wayrest got some of their spawners back. Like I said, they've just been split too many times to actually count. But they got some of their spawners back. And I think this is the first time they've been raided since the rollback. Like, how do you get raided that many times? And then you get rolled back and you still get raided like this. Like, I don't know, guys. This faction, absolutely terrible. Like, I'm not even going to say this was a hard raid and a really good faction. This faction, you know, this was probably the easiest raid on a comp server I've ever had. Right now, I'm just trying to catch spawners, bro. Like, I don't even know where they're... Where are they kegging at? Oh, wait. Got some spawners right here. Hold up. It went into the hopper. All right, but oh, there's six right there. What the heck? Also, let me go ahead and show off F top real quick. Tacos is actually above Triad. I have no idea how they managed to do that. Like, I have no clue because Triad was beating everybody by a decent amount. And somehow Tacos, they're, they're F top number one right now. So Triad is F top number two. We are F top number three. And then Candy's faction, Abzi, is F top number four. But they are behind, like, more than three bill. Unless they raid somebody, we really have no worries. Let me hit an F list as well so I can show you guys, like, who is at the top of the top between, like, the most active factions. So we are on top of 95 people now. A lot of those are alts, but still. F ta or F list number one, and then it's Tacos, Wayrest, Mayfair, Myth. Okay, so we have a bunch of people. But my point being, Triad's nowhere on there. I actually want to F who them. How many do they have online? So Triad only has 12. Wait, how many real people do we have online? So we have 27. 27 v 12, is that... You know what, that might be a, a kind of hard force raid because, you know, 12 people patching, that can be pretty tough. I don't know. In my opinion, dude, if Triad wins this season, like, I, I just don't see it happening. Wait a minute. Yo, I just saw spawners. I think they got it. I don't know, guys. Leave your predictions who you actually 
think is going to win the season down below. I'm actually curious to see what you guys think. I definitely don't think it's going to be Triad. I mean, they've already disbanded their faction once, boys. Come on now. I'm honestly curious as to what your guys' opinions are on who is going to actually win. Like, no bias, all right? Just who do you guys think is going to win? I think Nug has a really good chance because Nug always has the numbers online. We legit have not even been attempted at the time I'm recording this. Like, at this point... Two and a half, almost three days into TNT being enabled, nobody has even tried to raid us just because of the sheer fact that we have so many numbers on all the time. We still have people checking walls 24-7. I've even checked walls, boys, and that's like, that was unheard of for me. Because in Spook, I legit didn't check walls once, and I think I played with them for like three maps. But this is like a smaller kind of faction server, like as in... Like, it's smaller factions. It's not a 100-man faction. So, yeah, guys, they also got breached over here by us. This is the, uh... I think this is the first time we raided them. That's the second time over there. They got raided somewhere over there as well. Like, this is just, like, why did they even patch this? Oh, they didn't. Look at this, bro. They sponged their walls, but I guess, like, they were gonna patch it, and then they were just like, yeah. You know what? Probably just not gonna do that. So, I'm guessing this faction has completely quit the server, because whenever we were raiding them over here... The first time we attempted them, there was literally one person patching their walls. That guy probably got fed up and he was just like, bro, I mean, he's obviously in the faction. He has perms to place over here. He had to have messaged like some people in the faction and they just didn't get on. So yeah, the first time this is all us over here. This is whenever we hit their Enderman. And then right now we just hit all of their creepers. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this faction has quit. I don't know why some people in the comments told me to join these guys. Yo, oh, look. This is where the other faction raided him from. Look, I found it. Maybe they didn't get rolled back then. I don't know. Like, look at this, bro. They got split all the way through, dude. Actually a GG. Oh, there's still some spawners left, man. Maybe they'll come back and play. But, uh, yeah, guys. So, ratings enabled. We already have one faction completely out of the race that some people thought had a chance to, uh, to compete for the F top. I mean, just look at this completely split. So anyways, we're probably just gonna cut this right here. I think I'm gonna show you guys the first time we raided him because that was a lot more hype because there was a legit, like, at least one person patching. But anyways, I'm gonna take a cut. You guys can enjoy that clip. We did get some of their Endermans, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Wait, wait a minute. Who is this? Wait, what? I just saw somebody. I just... I swear I just saw an enemy. What? Where did he go? Yo, we found him. What? What are you... What? What gang this man, bro? What the heck? Oh, yo, he's swimming all the way. <laughs> Look at this guy. This guy's gone, bro. He ain't having it. No, 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 no. He's gone. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the clip of the other raid. Guys, the Discord's actually kind of hectic right now, but um, they did find out that we were raiding them, but this should be a pretty easy force raid unless they get like a ton of people online. So right now we're just patrolling walls. I've only seen like two enemies here, so I think we're good. We're still going through walls, but I'm telling you, that Discord is getting loud, and it's hard to turn, like, every single person down. So, I don't really know, man. I don't know if I should put that in the recording, because I don't know how loud it is. Look, dude, there's a gang, a whole football team on that, man. I'm just going to stay patrolling these walls, just in case that's, like, a bait. That dude could definitely just be leading the whole group, and then while he has his buddy come in and actually patch. So, I am just patrolling, making sure everything's good. Unfortunately, no time lapse. You know, it's not going to be that easy, all right? I thought maybe... They wouldn't even find out we were raiding them, but, uh, they did. Oh, whoa, they patched way back here. Wait, who's Dark Stains? And, oh, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, no, no, no. This is an enemy. Hold up. That's an enemy right there. And we're already past their patch, dude. Let's go. All right, so... Wait, why aren't they hitting this guy? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, they're not even hitting him, boys. All right, it's whatever. We're gonna keep going. Um, I don't know why the cannon isn't firing. Did they patch back there? You say my name? I'm not near you guys. I went back to the counter wall. Yeah, yeah, all right, here we go. We're getting ground again. We're getting ground again. I'm going to pull this. Deep pearled, deep pearled, deep pearled. I've got these patching so much. <laughs> We're actually doing good. We're forcing them. It's okay. They're patched. Yeah. You get patches. We would have been free. Yeah, we're going through patches. Like the only person patching was Compactors, and I don't even know if he's online anymore. Oh, he is. He is online. Why isn't he patching his walls? I don't know, dude. He's like literally his only faction's like hope, man. Literally. Wait, compactor's first wall. Somebody just said that in faction chat. We're going to pearl back. By the way, we're using a fishing rod because it is knockback. All he has to really do is god apple or paw, and then he's not going to die. So knockbacking him definitely disorientates him more. But I don't see him. Oh, yo, he did patch. He did patch right here, but we're through his patch already. I'm just going to keep on patrolling there's some people that are just like sitting on the walls and i don't know why so i just saw the cannon shoot again i think i think we might be in no dude my pearl's gonna no 
please, Pearl. Oh, thank God. All right, I thought we were going to go all the way to the bottom. I would, I would have actually cried, dude. And are we in? Oh, my, we're in. We're inside the base, boys. We just breached this faction, and it is an F-top number five faction. So, we're going to go see what's cracking over here. They have, like, hardly any squids. What the heck? No way. They already got split, bro. That's what I was thinking. Whenever I saw the spawners, I was like... There's no way people place in that, like, of a, a erratic of a thing, dude. There's just no way. Who rated them first, then? I'm actually curious, because this faction had nobody online. So, like, it was a pretty easy... Wait, no. They have a ton of spawners over here. What? There's actually no way this just happened, bro. We raided a faction that was already raided, man. There's just no way. Why was that guy defending his base, then, if he already got raided? Like, what was the point? But what do we have over here? Yeah. Dude, look. There's spawners for freaking days. I guess there's just nowhere to keg it. We didn't line it up properly. Well, I guess we just weren't aiming at their creepers. I don't really know what spawners we were aiming at. Literally can't believe this happened. We have an open grinder over here. Not really like we need blaze spawners. Let's pearl up. And it's one blaze spawner left, man. Either they legit like TNT'd their own spawners or they already got raided. But in my opinion, it kind of looks like they got raided or... Yeah, no, because there's sand everywhere, so they had to have been raided or something. We're going to pearl up here. Like, is there any... There's still some spawners up there. So, wait for our pearl cooldown and then pearl all the way up. But that, that is freaking crazy, man. If they TNT'd themselves, like, if they blew up their own spawners, that is honestly sad, bro. Oh, no, dude. They've had to have been raided. These are sand stacks. Do they can it from over there? Unless they placed it all the way up and they didn't have, like, freaking fly or something, I guess. So this is our sand stacks. Wait a minute. Hold up, we can still get some spawners out of this. Maybe we're just, like, trying to blow them up. I don't even know, man. Look at them all swim up, dude. Guys are absolute warriors. What the heck? I mean, I guess we might as well just collect the uh, collect the spawners we're getting out of it, man. There's still quite a few over here. Some of them might have went into the chest, though. That does kind of suck. But, I mean, we already have a few Endermans in our inventory. It really look like there's going to be any PvP, so we might as well just toss all that stuff out. So, guys, I think, you know, I'm just going to let the faction do their thing over there, man. We're going to put the Endermans at the bottom over here, just in our spawners chest that we did get. So, guys, after the two raids, this is all the spawners we managed to get. Now, keep in mind, we weren't the only ones who raided them. But we have this full dub of spawners right here. You know, we got some pretty decent spawners. Um, let me see. Where are the other ones? Is it... Uh, okay, so we got some more right here. None in there. None in there. None in there. Hold up. And then we got like half a dub right here. I might as well just add my creepers to it real quick. There we go. We got a whole another dub of just straight creeper spawners from them. And then this one, you know, just more creeper spawners chilling in here. And I think... This is the last chest of spawners. Let me make sure, though. Yeah, those were all the spawners. Definitely did get a pretty good amount. It was definitely a good raid, man. It was literally just free F top. So anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this episode. Oh. Um. I don't know what the heck this guy's doing in our base, dude. I think he's waiting for an invite or something. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this episode. Next episode, I think we're going to actually try and raid a faction that, you know, has, like, some sort of competition in them. Because this faction just got completely folded. Um, like a lawn chair is pretty easy. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a like. Sub if you guys are new. Come check out the server. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next Factions episode.